morning, I'm Janine Kapawin. Let me introduce to you the parts of the computer, the basic part. The first one is the AVR. The next is the hard disk. And the third one is the monitor and the keyboard. And the next is the uh, speaker and the mouse. The next is how to open and off the computer. First, you have to do is to plug in the electric current, just like one, and open the, the switch, the VR switch. And the next is press the button of the, the system unit or hard disk. One is how to off the computer. First, Click the start and select the turn off computer and click the turn off. Everyone, my name is Marvin J. Teridor. So right now I'm going to explain to you how to make resume using Microsoft Word. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to click the start button then Select the Microsoft Word, then you're going to maximize it to expand. Then, when writing your resume, make sure you're going to select the font style, which is the area. Next is the font size, which is 12. So, after going to after that, you're going to now to proceed your writing your resume. So, writing your resume. You're going to for uh, you're going to write my name, which is Marvin J. T. Rigidor, and then next is so. Right now, guys, my resume is done. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to save. You're going to control S to save your resume. And that's all. Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Analu Andaya and this morning I will teach you how to create a PowerPoint presentation for beginners using the computers. Let's start. Step 1. Launch the PowerPoint program. Click or double-click the PowerPoint app icon which resembles an orange box. When you first open PowerPoint, you will see a blank slide with a space for a title and a type that title in two boxes. And then, Step 2. Slide Design. At the top of the screen, click Design. You may choose a different color for your template by clicking on the color schemes in the new presentation dialog box. For example, this one. Step 3. Adding text. Enter your text by clicking and then typing in the box title, click to add title or click to add subtitle. For example, Just, just like this. You're done! Wasn't that easy? Now you can do it again to make more. Thank you! Bye! By the way, my name is Joshua Sargilla. I want to present to you on how to print. Uh, application later using a uh, printer first you need to start and open the microsoft word then after the open the microsoft word open the file then open then find the local disk then after that find the uh, application later then open Af after the open the application later then you need to control p and to current page then one page but then okay and that's all
So first, make sure the scanner is turned on already and it is connected already to the other device which is the laptop or PC, the personal computer. And make sure the scanner or this device, the scanner, is already installed in the laptop. So, in this case, it is already installed. So first, you must also prepare the um, image or the photo which you will scan. So you will place it upside, I mean face down direction. So it is already there. So because it is already installed, just click the icon which um, which instructs you to scan already so scan and then it appears here so just click OK so it it is already scanning the image So it appears here, the image which, um, which you will scan. So just click it again. So it appears like that. And then click on the print icon again. So this one. Good morning. By the way, I am Julian T. McKinney. This morning, I am going to show you what is the importance of Google using the computer. So, Google is an answer of every question for students. So, as a student, uh, by googling, you get notes, books, tutorials, and inspirational videos. So. Here we go. Let's. I will show you the how to use Google. So the first thing you must do is you just simply click the start, and then the internet or Google Chrome. So this is it. After uh, this time, you will start typing the questions that you want to find the answers. For example, my question is, what is what is the importance the importance what is the importance of technology so this is your question and then after typing your question you just simply click the enter there we go and then automatically the answer will appear you just select the best answer that you think is the best answer for your question. So that's it. It's very easy to use the Google. Bye! Hi! Good morning! By the way, I am Norjeline Ayu Malvia and welcome to my office. Uh, for today, I am going to report the enrollment report using the uh, computer. So first, we have to use the Google, then search for the P2MIS, which is the TESDA online enrollment, then you have to enter your, your username. Then your password. See, we have to enroll this um, student. So first, we have to register the learner. So it is very important for me to use this computer because in our in our uh, 
this time we have to enroll the students on final level. So, that's all. Thank you. Everyone, I am Jessica Bangilisan, and this morning I am going to share to you the importance of YouTube using the computer and the speaker. So, um, using this app, you can um, encourage your students to watch your videos in order for them to learn and not to feel bored. So, here's what you have to do. First, you have to select, uh, click the start, then the all programs, Google Chrome, and type the youtube.com and after that you uh, you will see the different videos um, uploads here but if you want to share or teach the different sounds of a letter you have to type the phonics then select enter then select the video you want to share What did you do today at school? Okay, so you study something about. Okay, so you studied a lot of subjects today at school. All right. So yes, uh, you said today you have been to school, right? So may I know what is your favorite subject at school? What is your favorite subject? You're uh, playing soccer, so meaning your favorite subject is PE. Am I right? Okay, so you like PE because you can play. Okay, how about English? Do you like English too? Oh, I see. So, why do you like English? Oh, so your dad is an English teacher. That is why you would like to uh, to be a teacher someday like your dad. Okay, wow. Today, everyone, I am Janeline J. Apelianis and I'm here to share with you my ideas about the importance of computer. So why computer is important? The importance of computer technology can be underestimated as it continues to evolve both in school and the workplace. Whether you are a student, a teacher, an office worker, or a businessman, computer plays a vital role in your life. First, we shall talk about the important facets of computers in education. The idea that the computer should always make easy comes from an overview of the point that computer entered our lives in order to help us. The advantages of computers in education include an efficient storage and performance of information as well as quick information processing. The process of learning has gone beyond learning from prescribed textbooks. Today, Students can satisfy their thirst for knowledge by means of the internet. It is easier to store information on computers rather than maintaining a handwritten notes. Education is no more limited from classrooms. The process of learning has gone beyond learning from prescribed textbooks. Today, students can satisfy their thirst for knowledge by means of the internet. It is easier to store information on computers 
rather than maintaining handwritten notes. Education is no more, no more limited to classrooms. It has reached far and wide because right now, we also have an online education system. Computers facilitate an audiovisual representations of information, thus making the process, learn, process of learning interactive and interesting. Computers in education can be beneficial in several ways. They can increase the productivity of the students by making tasks such as composing papers, and research. The most significant usefulness of computers in education refers to the aid in audiovisual teaching techniques, improve the presentation of projects, and encourage quick communication among teachers, students, and colleagues.